this is a practical demonstration on how you can program using ACARA, the Australian Curriculum Standards. I've made it practical because I've chosen a year level, which is year one, and a science program, which I wrote for Carolyn Lewis. So first of all, if you go to Curriculum, it's a science unit. Select Foundation to Year 10, and you basically select your year level that you'd like to look at. And you do that by applying filters. Going to select U1 and apply filters. This here will then give you your year level descriptions, the content descriptors, and the achievement standards, which you could probably compare similar to SAXA's outcomes and the work samples, which will appear later. So the first thing I did, I had a Word document. Um, the title at the top, Year One Science, sounds sensational. Then I put the context for learning. The context for learning, you can copy and paste directly from the national curriculum. So that came from at the top here. I selected the full description and copied and pasted it into the Word document. Then I used the highlighter tool to highlight elements which I would aim to cover throughout this unit. So students are looking at observations, making predictions, creating cause and effect uh, relationships, observations and so forth. The next part here I've listed are the capabilities. So they're all listed here and then whichever program you use, you use your highlighter and just highlight the components that you're covering. These come from the national curriculum as well. They are the general capabilities. If I scroll down here, so there are seven general capabilities from your literacy, numeracy, ethical behaviour and so forth. If you click on each of these links, it will give you further descriptors. The next stage here was to have cross-curricular priorities. Because there is so much in the curriculum, you can integrate or link other areas. So I've listed a few here. And then coming down to the main part, you have your strands. So within the sciences, there are four strands. They're listed there and I've just highlighted one. So this unit is covering physical sciences. The next part here, which I think is important, is what you're trying to achieve. So this one here is light and sound are produced by a range of sources and can be sensed. So that's at this year level. You notice here though, I've also put prior knowledge. So this is from the foundation year and working towards, this actually came from a year four or five. So you can see you can have differentiation across the curriculum. Majority of students working at this level, but you have a visual and a reminder of students' prior knowledge and what they may be extended or working towards further. Then over here we have the sciences as a human endeavour. If I scroll down here, so I'm looking at physical sciences. I'll make this smaller. So here is the here. So this is the science as a human endeavour. So you read these and you can click on here. That's your reference to get further information. And again, you can copy and paste. And the same with science inquiry skills. So you can see this is the one I'd like to cover. And across here, I've copied and pasted them through here. The next stage was your links to your capabilities. For example, literacy. This unit provides opportunities for students to develop their liter literacy skills as they engage in discussion, draw labels, present information and so forth. So you're providing documentation of your links to other curriculum areas. Scrolling down further, um, people ask, well, what are you actually reporting on? Where are the outcomes? You need to let go. There's no outcomes as such as in the national curriculum you're reporting according to the achievement standards. The achievement standards are listed on the website, which is down the bottom. So I copied and pasted it into the Word document. So this is by the end of year one. Now I'm not going to cover all of this science within the one unit. It's to be covered throughout the year. So what I'm aiming to cover within this unit is for students to describe objects and the effects of interacting with materials and objects, making predictions and investigations, following instructions, recording and sorting the observations. So this is what I'll be reporting against in my reports. 
going down further. Um, with this program here, I've used it based on the five E's. So you've got the engage, explore, explain, uh, elaborate and evaluate. Um, if you're not working by those, um, you could have activities down by the side. Because it's a science unit, I like to have the investigation. So what is the question I'm focusing? What is the focus for the students? This is an optional column. So the question here is, what do we think we know about sound? Your lesson activities, this is where you type them in. If you have it week by week, you do that. Uh, primaries are more flexible in their times. So having a week one, week two doesn't apply as such. Here are the learning tasks, the curriculum, uh, web link, sorry, and the assessment on the side. So I've got that for the engage, explore, and so forth. Once I have that, the next step I did was to create a wiki. This here is a, a wiki. Um, it's on Sound Sensational. So here, you can click on here and download the program, link to the national curriculum. It's based on the five E's, so there's a PDF explaining that. Also based on the principles of inquiry-based learning. Then you have the wiki down here. And you can see there are visual images for students and teachers to know which part of the investigation they're up to. If I click on engage. Okay, what do you think you know about sound? It's using language for the students, so your teacher will download. These are notebook documents. Teacher downloads and you complete them as a class. Visit the interactive websites below. So as a class or an individual can access this wiki. They can access the interactive activities. You have simple text. And here we have videos which are embedded within the wiki. And then down the bottom for teachers, you have your assessments. And that's just a simple way of how you can integrate the national curriculum to create an online unit of work.